Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those who are the first time here, my name is Zach. I'm 21 years old Russian who almost half a year ago left Russia because of the war against Ukraine. Before I left Russia, I was having a YouTube channel about life in Russia in English and about my personal life. Today I'm going to show you my babushka's place a little and I'm going to do some work for you for sure. I was making content in English about Russia, about the far east of Russia to show you the life of the people. Then I went to the US as an exchange student and I was filming my travels and my life over there from the perspective of a Russian person. But then I came back to Russia and the war started. I went to the protest 24th of February, almost got arrested. I got a whole video on this and then I had to leave Russia. And since then, the topic of my channel really changed. I have started to make videos about the war the war that russia started against ukraine every single day i was reading a bunch of news from russia from ukraine i went to volunteer for a food bank for ukrainian refugees here i made a couple of the fundraising companies for sofia from ukraine luba from russia uh, ukrainian food bank here in belisi the whole topic of my channel really changed because of it 21st of september putin announced partial mobilization i was doing live streams updating my viewers every single day for 12 days in a row so many news were coming from russia those days then i have stopped doing those live updates from mobilization every single day but many people still asked me for those updates this is how i decided to start my own media focusing on the war with ukraine the name of our project is rt or russia tomorrow i know what you have thought rt usually stands for russia today but by picking this name we actually mock on Russia today. The media which is being funded by the Kremlin. The media that spreads Putin's propaganda all over the world in English. But we hope for Russia not to be ruled by corrupt and militant elites. We hope for Russia not to invade other countries and not to threaten the whole world with a nuclear weapon. This is why our media is called Russia Tomorrow. Because Russia today is killing and invading its neighbor countries. Russia of today Putinist Russia is a dictatorship. We need Russia which is going to be peaceful, democratic and open to the world. Russia tomorrow. But firstly, who are we? Who are Russia tomorrow? Well, basically this is me and my friend, unfortunately whose name I cannot pronounce because, you know, he is still in Russia and it is quite dangerous to post news and to, to spread any kind of information which is not according to the state media you can go to jail for this. So we are going to post all of the news from Russia and war in Ukraine in English, translating every single picture and video you will be able to find on the internet about mobilization, about the war, about something inside Russia. Those materials which you are not going to be able to translate even using Google Translator or something else. You have two options. First one, either to learn Russian to understand what is written on the pictures or what is said in the videos or to trust us we will give you the context and we'll try to explain a lot of things you couldn't know about russia not being russian you read a lot of news from russia but to understand everything you need to know every single piece of it and why is it important for what sphere of life and also we are independent it means that we are not being controlled or funded by any government or any organization we're only being funded by you, our subscribers, our followers. The platform where our media is going to be launched is Telegram. Telegram is founded by Pavel Durov, a Russian entrepreneur who created... Before Telegram, he created VK, which is an analog of Facebook, but a way better. And in 2014, basically, the government, the Russian government, the Kremlin, they took away VK from him. And he had to leave Russia... And of course, he's being against Putin, against the war. Uh, a long time ago, he took this position. This is one of the reasons we use Telegram, because Telegram is not being owned, owned and controlled by the government. It is independent because the creator of Telegram is the enemy of the Russian state. It is really important since my editor is still in Russia, he needs to have an access to Telegram. And Telegram is not banned in Russia. You may ask, like, why? Is, it, is he a, true, a really true enemy of the state? And I'll answer yes, because in 2018, Russian Roskomnadzor, which is like informational Gestapo, they were trying to block uh, Telegram from Russia. But in the end, they have blocked 
half of the internet because they they were thinking that only telegram using amazon servers and amazon servers is basically the foundation of so many services and internet websites and russia literally ban banned half of the amazon servers ip addresses from russia from accessing from russia and they've banned half of the internet because of it so they were not able to ban telegram and that's one of the reasons why they're still out there at the same time telegram doesn't have any censorship it is popular among russians among ukrainians among z supporters among everyone if you have any conspiracy theory or anything else telegram is not gonna ban it and the same comes to every single other media every single other channel all russian ukrainian speaking content from russia from ukraine from the war in ukraine firstly being published on telegram and then big newspapers or twitter or people on instagram they take these materials and post it anywhere else this is the reason why it is going to be convenient for us and for everyone else to post our media on telegram and telegram is really easy for scrolling the news because it's basically the same as you would read your chat with your friend you know you just scroll down the dialogues so let me make a small review of our telegram channel and how do you get into this let's go what do you need to do to have access to my telegram channel well firstly you need to be registered on telegram just download uh, the application to your phone or your pc you can download it from app store or google play and then just register it's pretty easy it's the same as registering for facebook or whatsapp then you go into basically my page let's say you click at this video and you go to the description in the description there is going to be my telegram channel link so you basically press it and it sends you to another uh, tab here you got an option to open it on telegram desktop application if you have it installed or i prefer it just to do it in the web in the browser so i say open in the web here you go you enter my russia tomorrow bot the bot i've created using some tools so here you press start you can choose your language we got different languages english russian polish ukrainian uh deutschland and romanian so press english we got a quick introductionary to the chat I, I wrote it it says we are independent media created by guess who me zach the russian so here uh you got different subscription plans so uh we are you know we want you to make sure you want to follow and to sub be subscribed to us but this is why we provide free trial subscription so basically if you press free trial you will have the option to activate it here by this button and by by pressing this button you will have the access to our news channel which i'm gonna show you later but if you are already absolutely sure about the content me and my friend are going to post you're just pressing this button monthly subscription which is going to be like a monthly subscription for 30 days and it's going to cost well the price of cup of coffee or five us dollars so by pressing this uh you know there are some advantages which we are mentioning and then there is an option of to pay so there is a button pay you press it and basically the only option right now to pay is using paypal so here is your link go to pay so basically you open it in a web or somewhere else and it just sends you to paypal and that's the same as paying for some kind of service but let's say you're a new subscriber to our channel so you want to start a free trial so we press free trial and we press activate subscription activated successfully you have purchased access to the following resources and here is the link to my private telegram channel so you press it and you say go request to join and here you go you are just joined the telegram channel of russia tomorrow we were we were having some kind of beta test on this telegram channel and we were posting some news and people already could like see them and react to them for example here on the screen of the smolensky bridge in moscow there was a call to jump off it into the river to everyone who rejoiced at the explosions on the Crimean bridge. It literally says, jumped from me if you had any kind of joy when there were, when there were explosions on the Crimean bridge. Under this video, you can of course leave your comment if you have any, and you can leave any reaction you have. For example, you think this is a great news, you press like i think it's not really great news i press dislike but it's up to you you know there are no restrictions and basically that's 
About it, this is how our Telegram channel looks like. It's basically the same as you would scroll, scroll the dialogue with your friend. This is why we really love Telegram and it's really easy to follow the, the story and the news over there. So yeah, that's basically about it. Don't hesitate to download Telegram because it's a really, really, really cool um, social media, which is really, really useful for many people. So make sure to subscribe for Russia tomorrow to get the most relevant the most up-to-date news from Russia and the war in Ukraine with the most well-explained context from what is going on. It was me, Zach the Russian. Thank you once again for watching, and I hope the war will end someday and Putin dies. See ya.